Yeah, I come from a family of artists. They were two big names in South Africa at the time. Um, then I sort of, art was for me a, a search for place and I plunged into studying art at the age of 36 with an undergraduate that took quite some time. Um, but then we immigrated to um, Australia from South Africa and I did a degree completion here and a, a master's in art later on. I'm really inspired by um, an artist, Joseph Beuys. He was a German artist um, at the end of the Second World War. And he has this famous work called uh, the, um, the Fat Chair, uh, which is sort of symbolic for um, humankind's um, our, our situation. We become stuck and the process is how do we become unstuck again. So he said that our responsibility in life is to how to get that solidity into a fluidity. And so for me, art is like that. It, it helps me to become unstuck. You know, it's always been about place. Yeah. Um, first of all, it was a search for place where I pretended, or I used the metaphor for myself as a teapot. Yeah. I took this uh, teapot on a journey, photographed it in different places to symbolize where, you, where I would possibly find myself in life. And then the teapot came to rest on a bridge um, Y-shaped structure. And it was sort of like a, a cozy place for me, as like, yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's sheltered, it's warm, you know. And there's many connotations with that. It's called the square of peace, you know. Yeah. It's like, I feel like I have control just over this little piece. And you create something harmonious and peaceful just for now. And very soon, it's very fleeting. Then it's gone again and then you start again. But the search never stops. I do look at mark making as language. Yes. So my work is really um, focused on speaking to where words fail. Yeah. So I'm interested in the in-between, in what lies beneath. Yeah. So memory has always been um, one of the layers of my work. And so I'm always um, searching for a new mark. Mark like equals a word, but wor a word in an art sense. So um, it's a feeling, it's a sensation. So um, yeah, I don't think that could ever dry up for me. I'm um, constantly fascinated by that and looking at different things that could make a different mark, say something. Thank you for listening, <laughs> thank you. Brilliant.